Okay, Derek here with The Closet Doctor, and in front of me here, I have our two prototypes for the aerosol isolation box. Uh, this one here is clear. I have highlighted the holes with a Sharpie so that they stick up, but it normally wouldn't have that. This one here, we've left the blue protective film on just so you can see it. I have also labeled it with standard labels. That way, if you're looking at this and you want to add things, you can tell me it's on the, it's on the top or it's on the back or on the side so that we're talking on the phone that we have the same thing. So here's what it is. It is, uh, it's one single piece of, of acrylic plexiglass that's been heat bended in the corners for the three sides. So side B, the back, and side A, that's all one continuous piece. The top is a single piece and it is oversized about 10 millimeters around all sides. This particular one has the rounded holes so you can stick uh, a single hand through each hole. I have seen these with grommets and gloves and things like that. This model here, they're identical uh, boxes except for this one, instead of being two holes, just has a major oval in that. Uh, options that I've seen that have been added on to it, uh, that if you wanna do something, I've seen uh, access for a suction uh, suction tube in it. Uh, the number that I have is 20 millimeters. I can locate that anywhere on here. We would locate it on, you know, probably on the side. That would give you uh, a negative pressure on the inside. Uh, the second one that I've seen that some people have added is a wire access in there for, for tubing, any wires or anything that's going into the patient there. Uh, approximately six by six inches, smaller, greater, however you want to do it. The way that we have designed ours, it's set up to where these two boxes can stack. And that way they take up less space if we need to load them in a vehicle to deliver or ship them or anything like that. But so if you're looking at this and you wanna make any, if you're a doctor, medical person, and you wanna make any uh, changes on it, the top is the top, that's the top piece. The back is where the medical technician would stand doing the work. That's how we've got it. I have side B is on the right-hand side and side A is on the left-hand side. So if you want to do anything, we're talking about it, we can look at this video and you can tell me, hey, on side B, I want to add a suction access hole that's 20 millimeters in diameter. So take a look at this. If you have any questions, the best explanation of it is the Boston Hospital one. Uh, that is about four minutes long that shows how it works and why it works so well. Take a look at that. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know.